Hello and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. Uh, I'm here with uh, the usual crew, Christian and Anna, and I'm Lucas. What's up? Good evening. Anna, you're like behind a uh, an army of Arcees. That's the way my life is right now. There you go. That, that picture you had earlier that you posted for the show was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was a really good illustration of how good the one character role is. <laughs> I was about to mention that. It seems like you're doing really well with that. I yeah. am. It's like it's it's basically like the diet that finally worked out. <laughs> Except that it didn't. <laughs> there, there you go. Womp womp womp. I mean, so. okay, so I tried collecting a lot of Ultra Madnesses for a while, and that didn't make me happy, so I figure I might as well try RC now. There you go. There are a fair amount of RCs coming out, too. So, And how many Masterpiece ones do you have? There, I guess the official Masterpiece, like, do you have... Did that one come out? No. Oh, it's not out And yet. I don't plan to get it, either. There you go. Wow. I don't like it. Do you have the MMC one? I, I have a version of the MMC one. I have the um Oh fan stories. The yeah, form. yeah, you have you have Rouge as well, so <laughs> So here's my question. Randall wanted us to delay this until Nicey, right? Can you even call Nicey an R C since it is no longer coming with that head? Yes, right? you can call anything an R C. I mean I guess. I mean I guess it's but a it pink like robot. It way, Lucas. We call this R C. Right? Anime and RC. Yes, totally but that was like in an official cartoon. That was in an official cartoon, though. This is Nicey is not going to be an official cartoon, so. Oh, you don't know about the secret adult rated Transformers cartoon coming up mm. soon? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, no, there's yeah. only wants that to exist, but not in the way that you mean. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. A different type of adult rated. Yeah. Not, not hilariously not bizarre robot stuff. Nope. Okay, so anyway, I think that you can definitely call it an RC because it's pink and a car and kind of based on her. So it works. It's fine. The car sure. mode is definitely an RC homage also. Yeah, okay. But the reason that we did not wait was because we're already reviewing two RCs on this show. And it's like, do we really need to review another one? Because I'm sure that we will find a way to fit in Nicey somewhere. I think you guys are just worried that you'll look you'll look like monsters if you review Nicey. There you go. I'm going to try to get away with it. but <laughs> It's like the Fans Project Dino girls were not enough. Yeah, those are, I, I do consider those like the worst that I own sometimes. Nicey will oh, take the cake, nice. though. Yeah. Those ones are nice because I think isn't part of the transformation that you have to mess with the crotch and the chest. and. Just... Yep, you have to flip their breasts around. Yeah. yeah. Oh. They could have concave or convex breast, as you wish. Wow. Yeah. I did That's, not know that about those. It's very strange because they're like the they're like the thruster vents for their like dino thrusters, but then they flip around in their breast. And and the funny thing about the those fans project figures is I had mine for I don't know, like a year or something like that, right? Never Shut had up. any issues. I sell it to Anna and immediately she like breaks the ankles. I actually played with it. I actually messed with the figure. There's, there's a problem. There's your problem right. right there. <laughs> See, Anna, like, I sell figures to Anna, and they're so nice. Like, the joints are so tight and, and whatever. Like, Boy. they're perfect and all that, right? Because I don't mess with my figures. Like, I, I usually transform it, like, a couple times, and then I throw it on a shelf and, and doesn't see the light of day again. And, like, Anna is doing all kinds of crazy poses and whatnot, so... Oh yeah, like this thing when I'm when I'm in normal work, this thing gets posed like daily because it's one of the like two transformers on my desk. So it has and to. And when you say this to... thing, that's the Iron Factory RC. Oh, this is the Iron Factory RC. I brought her because she's pink like the other ones and small and fits in the camera easy. There you go. 
And also terrible at being a Transformer, but nice at being a robot girl. Which is very similar to one of these two figures. Oh boy. One is competent one. at being a Transformer. The other is incompetent at being a Transformer. I think that both of them have... I mean, it, it's somewhat similar transformations. It's just <laughs> that one has is nice enough to have a backpack that is removable so that you can actually get a decent look in robot mode, whereas the other one just has a huge hunk of car in the back. But they're both shell formers. Hunk of car. Yeah, it is, it is a car. You can very much unfold that thing. So, you know, the reason we're doing these two together is that two RCs came up really close together, you know, basically at the same time. And years and years and years of time passed where we didn't really have any RCs. You know, this was this was our one official G one ish RC for a long time. Obviously, this is the when you say the, that one. It was it's actually the one that I have on camera, but like that you guys can't see. This yes, one. The generation not one. not the blue one. Like this was yeah, the actual. I have release. the improved version that they turned into Chun Li, but you know the funny thing is is this uh, particular thrilling thirty RC was in stock at Big Bad Toy Store for years. Like 10 years, like I don't know how old, it, how old is this figure, Christian? Seven years. Seven years. So I, I swear it's been like in stock at Big Bad Toy Store for six years. Like I think it just went out of stock like when they made the new one, I guess. They finally went. That's where I went and bought them all back. So there Maybe. could be a cheap I, alternative. I don't know, but... <laughs> Not that either of these are particularly expensive. So yeah, that's in the RC that people have been leaning on for years. And I have hated that figure the whole time i only like the chun li version because a she was a gift and i'm a big street fighter fan so it's cool to have a crossover figure it's like the only reason i like it and it works really well like just the way they you know painted it to show her sleeves and painted it to show her hairstyle and it just worked cool but i think um, it's funny that you say that like you hate this figure because everyone there, there's a lot of people online that are saying that they think that this is still the better figure. Than Honestly the though, I think it's RC. really easy to explain. I think it's just people who don't pose their figures because that thing poses terribly and I can't stand it. I mean, I think for the time period, I think it's great. It's like, I mean, it has, it like has when I got it back, back in the day, I was happy tail. to have an RC because it was like, yay, an RC, whatever. Yay. That's true. I mean, I think it's pretty now. good. It's almost not enough for things to just exist anymore. Right, it's not. It's not, because there's yeah. alternatives. Well, I, mean, I, I think just, Christian I don't and I had told you the story about this RC, that it was um, it was designed by the uh, MP designer. Uh, what is it? Uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember his name. It starts with a K. I'm not going to be able to help you here. I'm sorry. Oh man, I, I can't. I, I was telling the story, and then I, I totally forgot. I should have looked up before the show. It was, uh, is it? Oh, gosh, Peter, it's help okay. me out. Who's the Who's the MP designer that whose last name starts with a K? That was like worked on the Kobayashi. Is that? I think that's Star Trek. I don't know. Anyway, nevertheless, um, this was a figure that he kind of like made a custom, essentially. That like this is based off of a custom that he had made, and that's what he brought to his interview with Takara. Like was was this figure, or not this figure? Essentially, the, the Thrilling Thirty version is is kind of based on that. That that actual one, the one that Lucas has, so what he brought. Not this actual one. I'm he saying the, the base. The, the base one. design is similar to to this one. Like he ended yeah, up designing cool. this main figure. It has a cool little story to fact. it. But I like, thought that was at fun. the time we had no RCs, and the only third party RCs that were out at the time were also horrible. <sighs> yeah, they were something. Yeah. I've actually owned most of them, and I've gotten rid of them because they're they're something. See, it There's is Kobayashi. Sure. Hironi, Hiro, Hiro Nori Kobayashi. Thank you. Perfect. See, oh. you knew. You did Good that. job. Congratulations. No, to, somebody made a comment from the TF Talk thing, so. Yeah, but you said Kobayashi. You knew it. Yeah, Kobayashi. Believe so yourself. I was right. 
Okay, so that one was RRC forever, and now we have options again, which is nice. I think it's very good to have options. Some people are happy with that RC. I just don't like it. I just never did like it very much, and I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for talking about these two, not this one. We're here for talking about these two and giving you an idea of either of them. Are either of them good? Are either of them worth owning? The answer is maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm look at this that. amazing hoverboard. Yeah, see, you oh, thank you, Peter. Pose. Look at that. So, you want to start with Earthrise or um, Cyberverse? I meant Cyberverse because I gestured at Cyberverse and said Earthrise. Earthrise. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Cyberverse, it is. Okay. Yay, Cyberverse. Because it was the first one I had, so therefore, by like a week. It's the only one. I, I'm one of those people we mentioned who uh, is leaning on the old RC, but maybe you guys can change my mind. That's our job, to try to make each other spend money like real friends. Yeah. In April, May. Friendship in this hobby. <laughs> okay, so this is the Cyberverse RC. It's one of the deluxes. If you're trying to make McAdam, you're stuck with buying her because she comes with body parts and a hammer. This dope hammer. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's a cool hammer. Is that a hammer? That seems like more like a mace melee weapon there. Whatever, man. It's got spikes. Oh. It's got a weight on it, and she can smack people around with it. Yeah, she gets to borrow it until you never build McAdam. I will never build McAdam. She gets to borrow it forever. I will. I will. Because I really like these Cyberverse Deluxes for some weird reason. So she is consistent with, you know, Cyberverse Deluxes. She is medium to light on the paint she is um, fewer colors than she probably should be there's no white on this figure whatsoever i don't think mm, nope. nope oh wait i lied there's white on the autobot emblem <laughs> ah. there we go so there is white on the figure so yeah this is um this is consistent with how the Cyberverse figures tend to work. You know, relatively simple, but still a really, like, articulated and nice-looking figure. I'm just really impressed with the Cyberverse Deluxes in general, and I think she works. She's not the worst one that I own. She's not the best either. She's, like, firmly in the middle of them, and I like it. You know, articulation is good. The ankles, I guess they could be better, but they do tilt. Um... The only problem is mine are super tight. I don't know about yours, Christian, but mine are uh, mine are mine, scary to mine move. Don't tilt. Oh well, then they're even tighter. <laughs> I, like until you mentioned, I didn't know that it could do that because mine, yeah, don't tilt. Yeah, they do. In oh, fact, tilt. You really went. have to pull on them. Yeah, don't break them. Don't break it on camera, or else you get to join my club and breaking into on camera, Yay. which is fantastic. Oh, uh, look at it. I'm. I need to borrow you, Peter. You can be someone who actually speaks the praises of these deluxe figures. I, I, I think they're super sure. cool. I like them a lot. They're, they feel like, I don't know, they feel just a little more creative than a lot of what we get out of Earthrise. I just enjoy playing with I them. I mean, I do. I 100% agree with that. Like, I think that the Cyberverse has been a lot of fun. Like, the figures are a lot of fun. I just, they're, they're not really for me. Like, I'm glad that they've gotten a lot better. Like and especially with the deluxe line too, but yeah, like I 100% agree that it's a it's a more fun line than you know a lot of the other stuff. Yeah, so she has the angle tilt, she has waist, her head moves, you know, on its usual ball joint, so you can actually get some tilt and whatnot, and no wrist, you know. So she's reasonably articulated. Of course, you're not going to get a lot of waist rotation because she has a, a small minor backpack. They get some ways some things. And, you know, the um, the backpack is, I didn't do it right now, but you can literally unfold the entire car. And the only part of the car that won't be on her back is this door assembly that happens to be her lower arms. Otherwise, the whole car is just, you know, in a fun carrying case on her back, which for some people, this is this is a deal breaker, right? Too much backpack, too much car on the back. But for me, it's really not. Like, I still think the, the figure itself looks great. 
And um, I find it really interesting that she actually has the, um, you know, the whole, like, everyone's always telling me that it's not that Optimus Prime has, like, a really short torso and really long legs. It's that he has heroic proportions. She has the same thing going on, that she has a really short torso and long legs. I think it's interesting on you know, our C figure. So it gives a little bit of body diversity. She doesn't look exactly like all the other ones. I think she's cool. Um, the paint is where it has to be and nowhere else. The face, definitely, you know, it could probably use a little bit of white on it in some spots, but it's a good looking face. So yeah, that proportion I thing you mentioned, I think that's what drew me to get this figure instead of Earthrise, Earthrise one, because it's something different and new. Yeah. And she looks, she, I guess she looks kind of similar to animated, but she really does kind of look like her own thing. Yeah, I think so too. She looks less like G1 RC and more like a new reimagining of RC, which is nice to have, especially since the G1 RC was coming out. Um, she comes with her gun and two blast effects on it, which are... I think out of reach for me right now. I don't think I can reach them. Honestly, I don't remember which ones are hers is the real reason I'm not grabbing them. They're blue and kind of long. Are they the blue, spinny, sharp looking ones like these? Nope, those are rungs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember which one's which anymore. I've had so many of these things laying around. And I just kind of use them all willy-nilly. Maybe we could have a show like that where Anna just comes on with like Peter and Christian and she holds up accessories. It's like, which one does this go to? Which yeah, I honestly don't really go? use my accessories very often. Oh, that would be an stuff? interesting contest. Would Peter win? Would Christian win? I think it would come out about even. Is it That's one? RC's. Yeah. Yay. I found one. There's two of them, but whatever. Them. You can get an illustration. Ta da. It goes pew pew. Ta -da. Her gun is currently clogged in one pull, so it's sad. Here's the vehicle mode. I just did that real quick while we were Yeah, talking. you did that real fast, actually. She's kind of a box, which is fine. Again, it's something different, <laughs> which is cool in its own way, but I actually it like looks uh, very box. cartoony. Yeah, it's very cartoony. One huge detriment to me for this, and I don't know if that's the same on your copy, but if you put the gun... In here, it's very difficult to get out. Very I difficult to get out. I thought I lost it forever. Very ever. difficult. I, I transformed the rest of it in about 30 seconds to get it back to bot mode. And it took me another five minutes or so to get the gun out. Just wiggling teeny tiny bits at a time. So that's not happening again. It was really hard. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in there if I was any of you. Like, I had to get on. Um... I, well, of course, I have all sorts of random things on my desk because I am, you know, a toy enthusiast and a professor. So I have a pair of pliers on my desk because you never know which, which thing you'll need them for. You can't just use like a spudger. I, don't I tried. Like that it, word. There's not enough leverage. There's not enough room to get leverage mm -hmm. with it. Pliers really is the best option. I just didn't have any handy. Yeah. Yeah. I had to actually go get my nice pliers because I only have the mean pliers that have grips on them. Ah. I didn't want to actually scratch the gun taking it out, so I had to get the softer pliers that's from my sculpting stuff. Anyway. She is neat. She's got paint on the front and the grill, which is cool. Uh, no tail lights, which is normal. Uh, she does have headlights. They're there. <laughs> I really like the way that the hubs, or I guess the hubs are on the wheel, but whatever, the wheel covers cover the wheel. I know that sounds really stupid. It just It's nicely sculpted. And I really appreciate that. It feels quote unquote futuristic. Yeah. And honestly, like, I know you said the, that there are no tail lights. My, um, the back of mine is also really hard to move, much like her um, ankles. Ugh. So if you flip her over, she's in there. Yes. Still wearing her car's a car. Living in there. But, um. So does she really I transform have... then, or? She flips her legs around. <laughs> Something I think is fun, even though you noted that there's no um, tail lights, is that you can put the blast effects in the back of the car to be like thrusters. Oh, I guess you could. So she can be all going poof. And I think that's fun. I don't like blast effects and don't ever use them. I just chuck them in a bin and move on with my life. Yeah, I think they're, I think they can be cool. So, and it does, um, it does add playability, which is important for these because they're in the kids' line, 
So you want them to have at least some playability still, even though they're the fancy ones from the kids' line. <laughs> so I think this one's fine. Um, I still think this deluxe line is overpriced. I've had Bumblebee and I've had RC now, and I think twenty dollars is too expensive for what they are. I paid sixteen and change because there was a coupon for Hasbro's eBay store. I was like, well, for that much, I'll, I'll grab her, and I think she's worth you know fifteen to sixteen bucks. Twenty is a bit high to me. I, I don't disagree. I think that they are just on the edge of being. I think they basically tried to justify being a little less figure than other deluxes because they have Build-A-Figure pieces. And the Build-A-Figure pieces are actually not very nice. And that's something that I've mentioned every time we've talked about these figures. Excruciatingly light. And I don't have the uh, shoulder joints or leg joints, whatever joints she came with. Yeah, yeah these. Flip them around the other way, please. Uh-huh. Oof. Yeah, you can that see is, how, how thin the plastic is and how um, it's just not nice looking, right? Like, unfortunately, when you put McAdam together, he's not going to look great. He's going to look okay. He's going to look like the character. Well, but he's like, going to look like things a cheaper too, class of toy than these guys do. So for, like, Marvel Legends, right, the Build-A-Figure is always amazing. Like, now... Yeah. Yep. Like, and so that's the thing is, is that you, we're kind of used to it building, like, some massive thing or whatever and like mcadam like you said is kind of like a i don't know it feels kind of like a cheap afterthought like if it was a well articulated figure that didn't transform i'm fine with that it just it it doesn't seem that nice but like the worst marvel legends build of figures are still like normal size marvel legends figures that are the same quality as the rest of the line right but this one is literally worse like, it feels like the plastic's worse, the articulation's worse, he doesn't have ankles. I don't think he has wrist. He's got, he's got issues. Yeah. He doesn't have a reason to because he doesn't transform. So, whatever. And you right. guys know me. We've been doing this show together for almost two years now. The hollowness oh. that we've seen in figures doesn't usually bother me. On these two pieces that we got with RC, I'm really bothered by how hollow and honeycomb that is. And I have no intention of building the cat. I'm just looking at it. It's like, wow, that's that's really lazy and cheap. Speaking of holidays. Right. Like, RC, that doesn't bother me so much. Doesn't bother me either. But uh, on my cat, it's like, oh, this is the extra stuff to make it, like you said, a $20 package. And it's just not good. I just feel like when you finish the build a figure, like Lucas was saying, you should you should finish it and be like, wow. Look at this thing I built. I have like, you know, at the time when you first built the Build-A-Figure Sentinel, it was like a really big Sentinel. I know the actually like two scale one is coming soon from HasLab, but still at the time that was super impressive. All the random Build-A-Figure parts that I got back in the day from like the one random Marvel Legends figure, I could always just imagine this really massive and neat detailed figure. Yeah. And this one is like, I'm going to be underwhelmed as hell, but... I want, I want Big Adam, so whatever. I'm looking at three build figures in front of me right now from Marvel Legends, and they're just wonderful. Big, yeah. detailed, worth it. Yeah, but yeah, I, I like do... It's going to be a disappointment. I do feel like, again, and I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just all, like, psychological, that, like, somehow the $20 versus $15 price point, like, I kind of agree with you that it's, like... I feel like if these were 15 that I, you know, because I kind of was getting them for my kid. Um, like I got a, a <laughs> few of the uh, figures and he's enjoyed it. He's enjoyed posing them and, and whatnot. But like, again, it's just like, I don't know. The plastic isn't the, like the, like, I don't know. Some the plastic is different for me and it just yeah. has not really hit the mark for me personally. Like, again, like I think that the line is great. I think they've done a lot of interesting things, but like it, I just have had a hard time getting past the plastic, but I, like, I think this one looks like one of the more interesting, like deluxe it's, figures. So she's it's, solid. It's, and you know, at fifteen, I think I could give it a pass for like the plastic you said and the, you know, the hollow bits and the lack of paint. But putting it at twenty dollars when you can get, you know, a Studio Series deluxe, which are always well modeled and pretty well painted, or uh, Earthrise or Siege deluxe, which are, you know, pretty great nowadays 
this just doesn't feel like twenty dollars with a toy. I totally agree with that. Like as much as I hate it, I actually it's weird because I feel the like I feel the whole this isn't worth as much as my other figures, but I actually like these more. I've been enjoying these figures more as toys. I think it's I think that's totally different. And I think it is too. Right. I think it is too. We've talked about that several times. You can really like a toy but know you overpaid for it and then therefore not get as much joy out of it. Yep. No. Um, so, but use, comparative like, to the but... to the amazing Earthrise RC that is also twenty dollars hey, on its the hoverboard. Woo Are you guys gonna convince me to get it? Let's let's find out. Okay. Well, let's so, find out. So it's here's the thing about the RC, like, you know, whatever, what wonderful hoverboard here that it is. Um, I, I managed to mid, to lose the little whatever back piece off of it already. You lost it like the second you got it, right? Because I remember. Yeah, I don't, I have no idea it. if it actually came with it or not. I, I, like when I opened it out of the package, it wasn't there. So, but the actual figure itself, and the, the one thing that I will try to sell this on, you know, for, for you and Catherine and whoever else is, is the proportions of this figure are so much nicer than any, like a lot of the other RCs, because the fact that it, you know, this huge honking piece comes off, it looks really, really nice. And so, like, that's what that's what I like about it is, is, and the articulation is great. Like one thing, and I know that people will probably make fun of her huge honking feet. Um, I don't know if you can like see, see how big the feet are. Right. But that makes it great to pose because like one of the things that I always hate about like these types of size figures is it comes with tiny little feet that are hard mm -hmm. to pose and the thing falls over. And so the fact that it has these little canoes down here and they're articulated too. So there's like some ankle tilt, you get the rocker back and forth. So, I mean, it's, it has good articulation with the ankles. Um, it has waist swivel, um, has thigh swivel, like a little bit of thigh swivel here. So, I mean, it has all the articulation that you would want. Um, you know, from the figure. head doesn't really tilt though. That was a bummer for me. Yeah, I guess that's the head true. Just turns, it goes, it goes it side to side. Down. I like to have my figures looking up and down sometimes. It's a little bit of a bummer. Is it on a ball just enclosed by the entirety of the round head? Is that what it is? Huh? What's that? Is it on a ball joint that's just enclosed by the head or is it on a, um, uh, it, I think it's on a ball joint. It just really can't move can the yeah. way the head's constructed. Because she has a little bit of a collar on her neck, so like oh, it yeah. it's really just hard to tight. tell. But I mean, it'll move yeah, just slightly. so her chin would kind of conflict with the collar if you were to try to tilt it up and down. So one thing I'll say that. is is that like one of my biggest complaints with pictures for this figure was like the face like it was not painted; it's white. But I actually don't mind it in person as much as what like some of the pictures that were yeah that's uh, what was killing it for me i honestly can't Oops. tell for sure but like part of me kind of thinks the face itself is painted and the helmet isn't like i kind of think the face might be painted white yeah and when you, you know, put it up it in your could... lighting it looked like that because it feels it actually, just a little bit different man it could be because if you look at the like sheen off of the face Yep. is is just slightly so i guess there we go huh so i, I guess that they made a conscious decision person, to do it yeah in person i think she looks fine where in pictures you don't get that glint off of it to realize they're different textures but it separates the two it keeps them from blending together visually so well, i think it works pretty well the thing is, is, yeah, is like that i feel RC like a pink face right i feel yeah, yeah well so this is a slightly kind of pinkish face um yeah but, like, it's so hard to actually get the right hue of pink, I feel like, on some of these figures. And so I feel like if I do the heads to, uh, next to each other, um, I feel like that I like the head sculpt better on the new figure than the old one. Oh, my goodness. It is so much better. Like, I just feel like the proportions in general are just 
like nicer like this looks like rc to me whereas like this one is again like for the time i think for the fact that it came out seven years ago i mm. think that if i put this up against a lot of figures from back then i think that this looks nicer but i think that it's still it's a seven-year-old figure versus a brand new figure uh, and i think the the whole concession with an rc figure is that people want it to be you know a Transformers toy, they want it to be robotic, they want it to have some squareness to the chest and everything, you know, this one kind of, they squared off the chest, made it more angular and everything, and honestly, g one is just shaped like a person, like, she's one of the, like, least robot-like shaped designs, she's just shaped like a person, so having one that is literally a person that folds up inside of a car is a good way to actually get the proper RC body shape. That's true. As much of a non-transformer as that makes her, but, you know, it does work. Yeah, like you said, the only thing that's really missing is wrist swivel, and it does have wrist turning to the side powers. <laughs> Whatever good that is. Could one of you guys put the the hoverboard on her back so she's all oh, um, yes. muted as a Thank robot? Oh, Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Sure. If you want to do it, you go for it. You ruin your toy. Ruin my... Oh. Yeah, you... No, it, it doesn't really ruin it. It just makes it have a huge backpack. Okay. I mean, it's not horrible. Like that's what I was about to say. The same thing. It, it doesn't look horrible. Obviously, it doesn't look great. Like, but I like it better without it on there. But it doesn't look horrible. It downgrades her a lot. It kind of feels like that's a like a battle thing where she's like, oh, I got a whole bunch of extra ammo and stuff that she's taking in to battle with her. Like, I'll, like, I can imagine on the Lifeline repaint, that's, you know, a medical kit that she carries on her back. That, oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's a nice way to think Story of it. Story in my head. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, to be honest, if you want to compare the two, this one's got a straight, like, bumblebee butt, and this one has a Transformers backpack. Right? Like, the, yep. the Cyberverse is more egregious, honestly than this one. We only think this is more egregious because it does come off, so it's an option. But the Cyberverse one actually integrates more of its body parts into the car mode than this one does, because this integrates zero body parts into the car mode. I, I hadn't heard that thought articulated, where we think it's worse because it's an option. But I think you're right. And that's all it is. Yeah, I mean, you totally you, do not you don't have, have to, to take it off. You like, you specifically have to take this off. Like, there's a little clip thing on here. I don't know if I can, but like, it actually there's a little button that you push and a clip that like yeah. undoes it. Yeah, so you can clip it in there and then just fold it. And she can transform with it on. So there's a little button on the side that like unclips it. So yeah, if you if you want to never put like do that thing, you can. Hmm. So yeah, the backpack configuration isn't quite as nice if you leave her like that, but still, it works. So yeah, yeah so I mean it's. What it's I was going to say is, is the stupid thing about this figure, it, like, the transformation is just dumb. Like, I mean, pretty much it all is. you're doing, it's like a shell former, you, like, flip the legs around, and it's almost one of those things where I'm like, am I missing something? Like, you, like, there's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the transformation. No, and she's actually surprisingly annoying to get into a good car mode to get the um, the panels. Oh, to get everything to stick together. That. Yeah, that actually surprised me because I figured with it being a shell former, like just be like pop it pop it in the shell, in the shell, she rolls around, 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 uh, yeah, I think so. I've only done her once. Hmm. I like the but yeah, pretty much all you do is, is, like, you, like, flip the legs like this. 
which is, I don't know. Like, the car mode's kind of weak. It, it is. It is. The car mode doesn't look great. It doesn't really look that much worse than the Generations one. And it does look worse than the Cyberverse one. Like, the Cyberverse one is a cute square cartoon car, so I like it. This one is eh, okay. <laughs> It's passable yeah, like the car. The back of the... I mean, that's the thing is, is like, the back... Here's the back of the car. It's just... There it is. It's just her doing yoga. That's all it is. Yeah. No, honestly, she's... <laughs> she's not a Transformer, right? She's more or less a toy that folds up inside of another toy. Which is... Honestly, it's... I just... I've owned so many RCs, right? Since they've started making RCs, I've owned almost all of them, if not all of them. And I'm just never, ever happy with how she looks as a robot, except for this one. I'm finally happy with the robot mode. I feel like she looks right. And she's this not had a, to be a parts former. former, but she is a good RC action figure inside of a little plastic car. So I'm actually fine with it. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like the Transformer thing, it's almost like a lot of our Transformers, we just want a thing that can transform into a right. car. Not not necessarily, like most of the time we're not displaying it in car mode. So We're not going to actually transform it. We just want it to be able to, which is right. kind of a silly statement. But honestly, like it's, it's as much not a Transformer as this one is. So the Iron Factory one. It's also not really a Transformer. Like her legs barely go into the car mode, but they don't look right. And again, you know, she makes a good little robot RC, but you compromise the car mode. And unfortunately, you know, I think that's just a product of the design. Now, so, as far as as far as the comment that, you know, we'll always find something to complain about. Absolutely. My whole idea about this show was for us to, do. you know, have three people together so we would have um, differing opinions. So we would give you the goods and the bads of toys. You know, so it wouldn't just be like Lucas gushing about some new toy and say it's great. But then I come in and say, well, you know, it's fine, but there's this problem, that problem, and it's trash. And that way we have contrasted opinions for you to be well informed. I don't well, know, the, thing, the thing I think is funny is, is like, I don't know about you guys, but like when you watch different reviewers or like even just people that you know online, like when you see a figure come out or whatnot, you're like, I know that that person is going to hate it. You know, like, for example, like the parts forming with RC and whatnot, like I know Ryan and like and some like a, a lot of people just hate parts forming. And so it's like it doesn't matter how good the parts forming is, how good the figure is, like they're going to absolutely hate it. And so like but there's also, you know, like Bobby Skullface and some other people and whatnot, too. It's like I can just sit there and like, you know, like is is the figure well painted or not? Like if it's well painted, he's going to love it if it's not he's not kind of thing. And so like, I, I don't know. Like, again, I, I feel like a lot of times you could probably sit there and say, Oh yeah. Like, are they going to like this or not? Like, is it well articulated? All right. Oh, definitely. Gonna like it. I, mean, I think, I think everyone could have predicted that I would like this figure because it is, you know, it looks right. It poses well and it's, you know, fun to play with as an action figure, but not as a transformer. So I'm okay with it. And that works. But here's the car mode. Think, you know, obviously the spoilers. It looks kind of good. Like, the I, I car mode it, is not as bad to... as what I, th like, I don't know, when I saw the pictures. But Yeah, it looks like its ability to parts form eliminates a lot of the paneliness that can happen to, to figures like this. Because mm -hmm. it's just mostly unified pieces, it looks like, especially on the top. The car mode, yeah, I mean, honestly, the top is, is the just... part that could use paint, I feel like. It could use a little more color. Than it has. Yeah. The because seats are the, the gray paint. seats are painted. I mean, there's a fair amount of paint in here. It's just not like so. Like all this white is paint. I think that's where the generations one does a little bit better with its black accents. Yep. It's yeah, it's got you know more color breakups. Oops. Yeah, it took more liberties. Honestly, this doesn't take a whole lot of liberties. It tries to get the RC G1 design as close as possible. 
yeah, when I traded out my generations for the LG version, which is that doesn't have the black accents, I noticed the same thing where where I previously liked the vehicle mode, I like it a little bit less on the LG because it's not broken up. It's just unified pink and white. Right. So, so the one thing that I'll say as far as, you know, like I know Catherine was asking about like whether or not we get tired of the mold and whatever. Like one point I, I will say that if you really like your Thrilling 30 RC, I feel like this one's close. Like I, I still like that figure a lot. And so I'm not sure that like if I really like that and I was trying to limit like my purchasing or whatever, I probably would get this in a different mold. Like I think that Paradron Medic, um, I really like that one. Like, it looks nice. you know, we haven't seen a lot of that that one. I don't know. Did Botcon make one? It was a subscription figure, yeah. Subscription, okay. So uh, the club did it or whatever. But nevertheless, like a lot of people don't have that. So like I would probably get that or like the Alita one. Like I hate that old Alita one mold personally you know mm -hmm. and so i'm excited for the new one coming out and it has a lot more paint on it um it too. Does. so i i think that i'm probably gonna like both of those more than this i still would like to have a premium painted version of of this figure and i i kind of hope that like you know we've had a leak that like there's an rc coming in um uh, kingdom and i really hope that either one it's a repaint of some you know like black arachne or whatever or two that it's a in really nicely painted version of this like either one but like if it's just this again like it's kind of disappointing i can imagine us not getting a version of this in studio series since we're getting a bunch of the other 86 characters and she's you know she's pretty close to how she looked there i think she'd serve yeah. for it but i think she would need slightly better paint to really be a good part of it the pessimist in me believes that the RC listing we have in Kingdom is just a repack of this to come out at the same time it's as probably. the rest of the 86 dudes. It's probably. It might be. That would be one way to do it. But one, one thing I will say, though, is is overall, with like I personally like the parts forming of this. Like I think if it's one big chunk of a parts form... I don't have as big a problem as if it, like there's like I know some of the old third party figures I remember that would parts form like the, like you would create a puzzle like with it and I, I personally didn't like that just because it was annoying to do but like what the thing I think this allows this to do is that it has that like you know her look but it doesn't like it like it looks really good in robot mode whereas like that moon racer mold you know. Mm -hmm or whatever green light whatever version you want to do of this one like that it has like you know stupid legs and a huge backpack like chunk and backpack or whatever and i would much rather have it to where i could just take that part off rather than i agree you know. i really wish they came off of them like because the the transformation is more or less impossible on the original rc so might as well just make it where a part comes off so you can pretend she's a transformer. It works for me. I'm fine with it. Optimus has done it since '84. Where does the right? go? Nowhere. Yeah. We didn't mention the gun. The gun is cast in clear, pl clear plastic. I think that's fun. It's weird. I'm, well, it's like a. I'm honestly, not sure why it's. Clear, it's not like clear, clear. It's like a. I don't know. Translute, like uh, kind of smoky, I guess. Kind of. I don't clear. know. It's weird. I think it looks neat. She has a ghost gun. But no it's the same thing it. that is on the the windshield is the same okay. plastic, and then I the little that. spoiler that I lost or whatever thing on the back, like right, it's of the course same. Spoiler is yeah. So, but I, I will I say, that. be careful with that part because it's easy to look, like it just comes right off, like and it's easy to lose. So the one thing I will. I kind of close on her with is that this surfboard thing is not very convincing, unfortunately. Oh. Like it's just like um, with Cliff Jumper, it's a pretty passable shield, or it looks fine on his back, one or the other. But with this, it's just like she is standing on the top of her car, you know? I don't know. I didn't think it was that bad. I, I don't mind it. Like, for one, I like figures having stands. So it works for that. It's a stand for her that's built in. 
And I don't mind putting it to the side either. I just don't think it looks like a hoverboard yeah. or a skateboard or anything else. I think it just looks like she's standing on half a car. I mean, I definitely think in general, they tried to go with this whole shield dynamic uh, for Earthrise. And like, I just, I don't think it, they pull it off as well as they do like the Target Master stuff from, <laughs> from I don't Siege. think Hurst can even shield, can it? Um, I theoretically, I think it can. I think you can plug okay. it into something. All right, sure. I'm sure you could probably ha have her hold it or something like that. It's set it up like a barricade shield. So, I don't know. I don't mind the hoverboard. Like, it's, you know, it's not great, but it's it's whatever. So, so. Yeah, it is yeah, whatever. I it works as a stand. I'm trying to think of like this deluxe wave. So we have the Alicon, which we haven't reviewed yet. We have the RC. We have the smoke screen. And what was the fourth one? Airwave. An airwave. Okay, which I don't have yet. Um, I, I think the thing that's hard is, is that I think that all of these are pretty good figures. And so I think that the RC2, like when you're getting all this new stuff in, like that smoke screen, which we haven't reviewed yet, is like a great figure. And so it's kind of like when you're comparing the two, you're like, ah, this is not, like not as good. But I, I've actually been more impressed by this. I'm glad I got it. Um, mm -hmm. But like, you know, again, compared to some of the other stuff that we got in the line, you know, in this wave where you're like, oh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, X, Y, Z that um but i'd still recommend it though i actually I like I've it enough sold. huh i think i've been sold have you i think it's good mm. i honestly i don't think you'd be disappointed in it like knowing your preferences a little bit a lot. you probably know them a lot I think, Probably. again, it's easier to, like, justify the, like, $20 price point than if you're, like, on the fence about something that is a leader class or, like, even a Voyager or something like that, right. you know? Like, it's it's much easier to be like, ah, it's another deluxe, sure, why not? And they get a yeah. map piece, so. She's not bad. I it just, there's nothing about this figure that really is bad to me other than the fact she's a parts former, which doesn't bother me as much as it does other people. I'd rather she was a parts former than Gappy or Hello or anything like that or limited articulation. So I will say that like, if I could only pick one RC for my collection, like it'd be really tough between this and the thrilling 31, just because like, I like this one because of the bot mode and the articulation like that, you know, I prefer that. Um, but like you said, like I like the paint better on and the vehicle mode better on, on Thrilling 30. So it, it would be a tough decision. So I don't know. I personally like MMC. The MMC RC is still my favorite, like overall. I know, Anna, you don't like that one, but. I, I honestly still like when I, because I grabbed all my RCs, obviously, for that picture earlier. And when I got her out earlier, I was like, oh. For a minute, I had warmed on this thing, but now I've unwarmed. I think literally this little thing has made me unwarm on this figure. Wow. The one thing that's annoying about the MMC one, again, is, is it has the foot issue that... Tiny feet. Tiny feet, so it's hard to kind of get it posed and whatnot, but... Yeah, that's a bummer. Like, I really like the fact that they made the concession that, you know, woman figures are supposed to have tiny feet. They almost all do. And this one doesn't. She has freaking super flippers. And it works. It lets her stand up without help. I'm I'm afraid yeah. to take my hand off of this thing because I'm I'm certain it'll fall over and it has enough metal in it it could hurt itself. Or my foots. One or the other. <laughs> now I feel like I might personally still like Rouge better, the fan toys. Just cause for me, I think she actually like captures her size and profile a little bit better. But she's not a great toy toy. Like, she definitely, you know, is a pain in the butt to transform. And has weird, weird hands. So, you know, if I had to pick one out of the two of them, I'd actually have some trouble. Well, I know that we were kind of debating about that with the cup that, um, you know, there was 
there was a review of, of Cup today and uh, the Studio Series 86 one coming out. And we were kind of saying, oh, compared to the fans' toys as well. And I feel like that's going to happen a lot with a lot of these you know, figures to where Hasbro is actually making figures that are a quarter the cost, a third the cost of these Masterpiece figures. And they're, you know, 80, 90 percent as good looking and they're a hell of a lot more fun. So kind of depending on, you know, what do you want for your collection? You know, do you want a fun, you know, really, you know, nice looking toy? Or do you want a collectible that, you know, looks better on your shelf? It's great, though. Like, that's that's really a plus for all of us. You know, the hot rod is looking really super good. And we can get really excited about that. I don't think that, you know, whereas I feel like this dethroned the MMC for me and didn't quite dethrone the fan toys. I think, you know, that hot rod is much closer to the MP style ones as far as like how good it looks than this Mm -hmm. one. This one I wouldn't call a replacement for an MP, like not even close. No, I I wouldn't say that either. I I do think she's cool. If, like, if this one, if they came out with a super premium, like, painted one, mm-hmm. I think it could come close. Like, other than, the, again, the transformation's stupid, but, like, other than that, like, as far as the silhouette of the figure and the articulation, I think if it was, had a little more paint on it, that I could say, yeah, it's pretty close. You know what toy has a stupid transformation, Lucas? This one. <laughs> again, fans, toys, rears. This is a stupid transformation. This one's is a non-transformation where you fold another thing around her and it's fine. Right, this is right. horrible. <laughs> this yeah. is a punishment for liking toys. I mean, at the same time, when I say it's a stupid transformation, like literally every RC does this. Like every right. RC li- like folds their legs in half, puts the arms up at the top. Like so. When I say it's stupid, honestly, it, it has a lot of the same cues as all the rest of them. It just has a shell around it so yeah i think that you know the closest thing we're ever going to get to a truly transforming rc will probably be the masterpiece and she'll probably still be painful i figure probably not as painful as rouge but she'll probably still be painful yeah that'll be interesting to come out i'm i'm sad that you're not getting that figure just because i like to have you buy those expensive figures now and have me check it out which is kind of a reversal from it really is when we first met it was always like "Ooh, look at show me your expensive toys because i'm not dumb enough to buy them and now look how the tables have turned a few years of a grown-up job and now i'm the dumb one who buys them (laughs) So. Don't worry, though. I also buy lots of weird knockoff trash to go with it. We'll see, but then I'm buying, like, Sleep Mode Prime and whatever, all that kind of junk. Yeah, so like, I didn't like, buy that I'm one. I'm still probably spending as much money as I did on Masterpiece. It's just on more toys, so. See, now I can do size comparisons between these guys and Weird Frog <laughs> Guy that no one else on Earth has. Oh, no, not Weird Frog <laughs> Guy. Yeah, <laughs> to bring. Oh, jeez. He'll always be at my desk. He's one of my favorite things I own. He's going to live here forever. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, um, I was going to mention. Both are recommends uh, for me, Anna. Yeah. So this is a recommend for me as well. Um, that last night, uh, TFLP uh, is up on YouTube. We talked about some of the new Studio Series 86 and Kingdom figures that are coming out. And, you know, what we thought about, like, you know, what we want to see coming out from the line coming up um so if you want to check that out there's no ouch my wallet this week uh the cut the tape should be out on friday or saturday just depending on when rick sends it to me and i guess that's it (laughs) oh geez yeah before guys back (sighs) she liked him so he came back he's gonna open his eyes now ta-da that's horrifying that's great. All right. Well, um, thank you to everyone in the chat. Um, Eric and Catherine and Randall and Ron um, and Tony and Ashley. Did I miss anyone? I think I got it. Oh, Peter earlier. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you, everyone. And we will see you next week. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. It was fun.